Good morning. This will be the video on the initial plate on how to write the GNM code for your initials. So we could th think of our GNM code into three sections. We have the startup section, which tells the machine a bunch of parameters. The code, which actually tells us how to move the machine to create the SS in this uh, scenario. And then the uh, end of the code section, which uh, ends the tells the machine that basically we're done and how to shut off. So first thing we have to remember is we have to have line numbers. You want to put the caps lock key on, and your line numbers need to skip. That way, if you make a mistake, you can uh, go back and add line numbers in. So I typically skip by tens, so you want to go like N. You also want to keep the uh, same number of digits. This code shouldn't be all that long, so I'm only going to go to three-digit places. Oops. So uh, we'll continue that as we write. But the next thing we want to do is operator comments. This tells us the information like who created it, when we created it, what the project is. This is information the machine will not read. So for example, I created this, so I put my name. I created it on this date. Um, the project is initials. Oops. And then what material are we using? We're going to be using aluminum uh, 6061. And the stock size, sorry, force of habit stock, is 2 by 2 by 3 by 0 0.5. And the... Uh, Last thing is what tool we're going to use. We are going to use a uh, one fourth two flute end mill. And we're going to use uh, the tool number is going to change. In this case, I'm going to use tool number four. In On my machines, it's tool number four, tool number five. So now uh, that was just operator's notes. So these are all lines that people that are there for you to read. Not the machine hasn't read anything yet. So line 70 is our first actual command. And we're going to type in G00, G80, G90, G49, and G40. And this is called our safety line. And what that does is this puts it in rapid, cancels all can cycles, sets it in absolute programming, cancels uh, tool compensation height, and then cancels, cancels tool height compensation and cancels tool diameter compensation. So basically we're resetting the machine to a known entity and then we can turn on those features as we need them. So now we're on line 80. We, uh, because we're in the U.S. and students work better that way, we're programming in inches. So that's a G20. Um, yeah, G20 is uh, sets up inches. G21 for the European folks would be, uh, or the rest of the world would be G21. Um, so N90. Uh, so G54 is our work offset. Okay, and then our next line is we, oops, we got to, can't forget that, should learn to spell right. And then 100 is going to be uh, our tool change. So we're going to do T4 because we're working with tool number four and M06, which forces a tool change. Okay, N110. Uh, um, we now need to turn on tool compensation, so height compensation. So G43 turns on height compensation, and we are going to work within the height compensation table to H4, or height number 4, which obviously height number 4 corresponds with tool 4. So if you have to change your tool, the H value and the T value are linked. So if you change this to tool 1, this would have to go to H1. If you change this to tool 22, this would have to go H22. And this is height, sorry, 
tool height comp. Okay, now uh, let's uh, we're gonna get the spindle spinning. So we are gonna do N20 and to turn on the spindle, we're gonna do an M03 that starts the spindle clockwise. And for this project, we want to run it flat out. So we're gonna go to 4500, which is the fastest that we can run on this uh, Generation One Tormach uh, 1100 spindle. Start and uh, 30. So um, at this point, we have done all of these lines here are just command lines to tell the machine kind of settings and parameters. We actually haven't done it. The only thing that's actually machine has given us any feedback is it's actually starting to spin. Now to make sure we've programmed it right and that our origins in the right place, I recommend we turn on rapid G00. And we are going to go to X0, Y0. And that should take the cutter over this corner right here, which is our 0, 0 point for this program. So the cutter may start somewhere over here, and it's going to come down and stop up, way up here, way high above the part, because the cutter should be way out of the way, but it should move to that direction. Now we are going to bring the cutter down. So N140, we are going to go, we don't have, we, remember, G00 is modal, meaning it remains on until I switch it. So in theory, line 140 is still G00. We are going to go to Z0.1. So now the cutter should move there, G00 or X0, Y0, and then it should plunge down to one inch above the part. Now to make sure you're doing it right, this is kind of a safety tech. We're going to turn on uh, G01, which is our... Uh, cutting speed so it's going to slow down and we are going to now go to G Z 0 0.1 F 27.0 so we've now switched to cut a cutting command so it will slow down and slowly approach 0 0.1 at 27 uh, inches per minute now I know this is a slower method then normally you would just plunge to here and wrap it, but because you're learning, this is your very first hand coding project, we're going to put this line of code in just to, this is kind of our check. We know it should stop one inch above the part and then slow down. If it's doing that, then it's doing it right. So now our first command is we need to move to from the origin out to our first location, which is right here. And if we look in X, that's 0 0.3, so X 0 0.3. And in Y, if you count up, we're going to the corner of this red one is 0 0.4. So the cutter is going to then go out here. Remember, we're still 0.1 above the part. So our next line of code has to be G01, Z negative 0 0.05. And now we're going to plunge down into it. And 180, uh, we don't need G01 because remember, we're in rapid or we're in the cutting command, we're now going to move straight down. So X, so I, X 0 0.3, Y 0 0.3, and that'll bring it here. And then N190, we are going to go from here to over here. So X, this becomes 1.1. Remember, that's the one inch line, and there's 0.1 further. Y 0 0.3. Now notice this uh, actual X and this Y, it didn't change from before. We actually don't need it. It's redundant. We can get rid of it. So if these numbers are not changing, we don't actually have to write them in. So for example, we are here. We want to go to here. So that doesn't change an X value. It's only a Y value. So I can just w type in Y 0 0.9 and to 10 we are now going to go back over here which is x 0 0.3 and to 20 we're now going to go up to here which is y 1 2 3 4 5 6 y 0 0.6 and then 
uh, n two thirty. We are going to go to over here, which is once again x one point zero. I'm sorry, not one point zero, one point one, and then n uh, two forty. We are going to go down to y one, two, three, four. Y 1.4. And then to come up, because we need to now pick up the cutter to move over to do our next S, we have to go G00. That's a rapid. Oops. And uh, G00, Z 0 0.1. And now from here, we're going to go to over here. So our next line is N260. Remember, we're still in rapid, so we need to move to right here. So this is 1. Two, three, so it should be uh, x 1.7, y should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, y 0 0.5. And then our next line should be n270, which should be a g01, a cutting move, z negative 0.05. All right, now that we have this code, let's go ahead and check to see how we're doing. So we're going to right-click, control, copy, and then we're going to come over here. And this is NC Viewer. It's an icon on your desktop, or you can just type NC Viewer into Google, and you'll find it. We're going to select all and delete, and then we're going to paste our code and hit plot. So now if we look, there's definitely some problems. So we need to address them. So... For example, uh, what we can do here is there's our zero, zero. It goes out. It goes down. That's good. Comes over. Goes up. That's good. Goes over. Now, here's where our problem is. This should have been Y 1.6. Oops. Now, if we hit plot again, now it cleans it up. Notice I just made a small mistake that caused me to have a lot of problems. So now it's looking right. Here's our squares. We're moving in the right location. So what I'm going to do is write control copy. I'm going to go back into notepad and control paste, which just changes that 1.6. And then I'm going to save this. Do not save this. This, if you save this, we're getting a lot of problems with the machine reading the code. You need to copy it out of here and put it in a notepad. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly finish this out. Sorry, there it is. So we're going to do the other S. We're right here to start. So we're going to go down um, N280, uh, Y0.3, N290, um, X2.1, 2, 3, 2.3, N2, two, N300, um, Y0.9, N310, uh, X1.7, N320, um, Y1.6, and uh, 330 x 2.3 and then n340 uh, y 1.4 so we've come all the way around to right here let me double check that one two three four yep and now it's time to come up g00 Oops, I forgot the line number. N350, uh, G00, Z0.1. Now, we've done both S's. We're going to go back and do the periods here and here. Now, the periods we're going to do a little bit differently. We're going to use what's called a can cycle. A can cycle is that we know we need to drill a hole here and here. Instead of having to go here, tell it to go down, tell it to come up, go over here, tell it to go down, tell it to come up. We can, it knows how to drill a hole. So all we have to do it is tell it the parameters of the hole, how deep the hole is, where the hole is located. 
and how much we want to come back up, which is called the retract plane, before we move to the next hole. So all we have to do is go G360. Uh, and we are going to go G81. That's an, a can cycle drill a hole. It's X value, which is right here. One, two, three, four. So X 1.4. Y 0 0.3. The Z is negative 0 0.05. And the retract plane is 0 0.1. So what it's now going to do is after it's raised up is it's going to go right here and drill this hole. Now, this is also modal, which means it's also always on. So now all I have to do to tell it to do this hole is go X, tell it its value. So if this is X3, 9, 8, 7, 6, X3, uh, 2.6, Y, 0 0.3. And it will now drill a hole to this depth with that retract plane at that location. Now that we're done, we're going to go N uh, 380, G00. We've got to switch into linear movement again, away from drilling. Z 2.0. So it's going to raise the cutter up. Now let's raise the cutter up. We got to do our end code. And our end code is four lines of code. That's it. So pretty straightforward. So N390, uh, the very first thing we want to do is we want to turn off the spindle, which is M05. Spindle off. And then uh, N400, we need to uh zero out the machine we want to bring the table all the way to the operator and raise the cutter all the way up so we go g53 uh z 0.0 y 0, 0.0 home z and y And then N410, which will be our last line of code, is an M30, which is program end rewind. Now, the rewind is important because what it'll do is once it reads this line of code, it'll put the cursor right back at the top. So if you want to cut another one, it would load another stock in and just hit cycle start again. Now, let's check our work. So we're going to copy the whole thing. And we are going to paste it. Oops. Select all. Delete. Paste. And we are going to hit plot. And you'll see now we got both S's. There is a check we want to make here. You should see that the blue stuff is slightly below. Yellow is all rapid. Now this viewer does not view a G81 correctly. So it shows, these, shows it going to an angle and shows it coming across. It doesn't show it going up and down. This is correct. Once you get this done, have me come over and check it. And then you can go out and run it on the machine.